Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Hasted Lawn. This is going to be episode 5 of my new single player world. There is going to be a lot done today, I hope. <laughs> um, right now, I'm working on a huge project. As you can see here, this is only one fourth of it. Um, it's going to take a long while because all of this water is going to be a huge problem for me when I'm doing this. Also, as you can see, and hold on, let me get some food in me. I have finally started working on this quarter. So, as you can see, I got a pretty decent amount done with it so far. Ta-da! So, um, once I get more dirt, I'll be working on that more, but uh, I completely ran out, so I've been actually messing with enchanting instead, as you'll see later in the episode. And my pride and joy right now is this baby. Not crazy awesome, but hey, for only level 8, I think it was pretty good. Efficiency 1 and Unbreaking 2. Hopefully this thing lasts for a while. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on this more. And also show you some of the clips that I did during that. The enchanting process and hmm, pretty much whatever I feel fit in this episode. <laughs> Alright guys, so I did it again. I recorded this footage and I did not put audio in it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what's going on here. <laughs> um, working on my slime farm here and uh, I hit this. I wanted to expand it one more block. And right behind there I find some diamonds. And um, just trying to get some rid of some of this lava here. I uh, don't actually have a iron pickaxe right now so I can't actually get the diamonds right now or anything this lava is being a real pain I keep uh, missing my clicks but all my all the other diamonds that I found have been in groups of one and have been exposed to the surface this is the actu actually the first diamond patch that is full and that would be a total of four right here and that puts me up to a total of eight that I have found now. So this gives me enough diamonds for a diamond pickaxe to get some obsidian and two more diamonds for the enchanting table. So I have all the materials now to make my enchanting table, which is awesome. All right, I finally got all that friggin' lava out of the way. Um, I'm actually trying not to destroy very much lava. So instead, I am actually putting them around my slime farm right here. Um, it'll give my area lighting, and I'm going to put fences in front of the lava right there. Yeah, that should work. Um, hmm, wait, no. I gotta go up one more level because of the bedrock, don't I? Uh, yeah, it'll be alright. So if I move it all up one level, put the fences there, um, right there, and uh, move the lava up one level also, Move actually move everything up one level, put the fences here, and the, actually nether rack fences, sorry, since I'm pretty sure those don't catch fire, and if they do, it's not going to be that, or if they catch fire and they don't disappear or whatnot, then uh, slime skin won't be able to get in there since they're a block and a half, as long as they're the same as regular fences. Um, yeah, so another rack fence there, and lava behind it, light up all the outside here, it'll work. Um, I think I got all the source blocks out of here, oop, I lied, never mind. Yeah, let's do this little trick here, get rid of some of this, because these aren't actual source blocks there, I know that for sure. Let's see how far that goes down, nope. There's a source block right under there, isn't there? Yep. Alright. Let's go put this around here. I just gotta make sure I don't walk onto it. <laughs> gotta be a little bit more careful than normal, I guess. Well, I did it again. I didn't record too awfully much, but um, had it set to where audio wasn't coming, or mic wasn't picking up anything. Uh, Alright, so... um. Well, let's we'll just start here. <laughs> I am down in my, or my uh, abandoned mine shaft next to. I think, yeah, you, you can see it right there. 
but right now I'm looking for some obsidian that is in a decent spot to where I don't get killed and as you can see these creepers want to kill me uh oh yeah alright but I'm pretty sure there's some yeah I need three pieces of it but I want to secure the place before I take my diamond pick over there because as you know or if you saw my last episode I blew up right where was that right here I think it was by one of these guys I wish I had a bow. I wish I had arrows. I wish this will kill them. Oh. I'm gonna have to try. Come on around. Jump up there. So hit me. There we go. Now we're in business. Let's go. Brought some more. Ooh, doggy. Good thing to save this stuff. <sighs> the smell of burning creepers. Where are you, buddy? Oh no! Oh, I forgot I had a sword. That would have been a little easier. <laughs> Alright. One more. Since this one has a high ground, that's no good. Let's see if I can leap around real quick before he gets up here. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, hungry. That'll work. I don't need the experience. Be high. Yeah, I lost some of my mushroom stew bowls when I died. Not too big of a deal. It's not really easy, but I need to go get more. More wood specifically to make them. Oops. Hmm. Where were these guys spawning at? Here's a dark spot, but that's where the lava goes. I think this will be fine. Get down here before I die. Yes. Go away. Oh, there's a hole there. So that's why it wasn't working. Good enough. But I just don't want to burn myself alive. Put me level lighting back. Alright, so this is the pile of obsidian that I want to work with. I only need three, and that is plenty. Actually move some of the lava so uh, it's a little safer and light it up so I'll get back to you. Alright that is as safe as safe as can be right? <laughs> so now it's time to actually no let me go get some food real quick. Where the hell did I go? I'm going to die. This might hurt. Yep. Alright this is it guys. Time to make my first diamond pickaxe on the new world. Ta-da! Alright, let's go get that obsidian. What else goes in that? Two diamonds, three obsidian. Crap, what's in the middle? I'm gonna have to look that up, to be honest. 
but I'm saying it first. Um, as you s can see here in a second, once I get around to the area, um, where am I? Oh, there we go. Yeah. That I used a little bit of lava around here to light this place up. It's starting to get a little bit brighter and preventing more spawns, which hopefully will increase the spawns of my slime farm once I get it more hollowed out. Hopefully there's no level under here. I'm assuming there's not. Oh, this takes forever. I have a better plan. How about we look this way while we do it? So we, nothing comes up behind me. I'm going to figure out how to make this enchanting table. I'm going to put it somewhere temporarily. And I'm going to kill a couple things, I think. I might set up something real quick, just this is where I died. That's not where I want to go. Oh, see? I have random bob lighting all over the place now. Got some there. Got one there. One up there. Uh, one right here. Hopefully it's in all, all those are in places that I won't be digging for a while. And one, I can't just walk into it, hopefully. Wow, I died right there. That's all I needed to do. That's aggravating. <laughs> Alright, so time to find a good spot. So, I'll go look. Alright, I finally figured out the enchanting recipe. And let's do this. Uh, yeah, that's how it was. Da 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 da! Got me an achievement too. Alright, um, ooh, wait, I'm going to deposit this diamond pickaxe, because I am not going to use it at all. Mm. Alright, sweet. Um, since I'm extremely low level, there's really no need for me to put any bookcases around this to amplify it at all anymore, or right now. So I'm just going to go as is. After this, I'm going to do a kill some stuff. At least get it I wanted to get five levels before I do anything, but it's probably only going to be with stone and iron pickaxes for a while, so nothing fancy. <sighs> yeah. Alright, I'm going to go kill some stuff after I light this place up. Perfect. Alright. I'll see you in a while. Alright, I just put together a little makeshift trap, and I ended up <clears throat> going ahead and um, enchanting my <clears throat> iron sword with sharpness, just so I can kill these guys a little bit easier. So, um, there's just a really small pocket that things can spawn, or, um, yeah, but I don't need too many, since all I'm doing is just sitting here hitting things every once in a while. Actually, let's... I'm not sure if they can get down. I'm trying to figure out where good places to put lights are too, to where it doesn't shine in there too awful much. But yeah. Grr. And things don't spawn out here, that's my problem right now. Come here.
That might work. Perfect, hopefully. <laughs> so, I'm going to mess with this a little bit more, get a couple more levels, and I want to enchant more stuff. Alright, my little um, system right here is actually working even better now that I changed it slightly. Um, what I did was I brought it down an extra level, so this is actually off of the ground and it seems like they're spawning a little bit better because I'm assuming it's because that's um, one less light level. Uh, so as you can see I'm already level four and a half. So maybe if you're starting off a world and just want some experience or if you're just wanting bahoons and arrows, I've already gotten 20 of each, 19 and 20 actually. Um, this is the probably the easiest setup you can make. Um, all it is is I actually have three Baha'i ceiling now. Uh, they land right here. They can't see me or anything. I just walk up, hit them a couple times, and kill them. They might be able to see me if I go right at a high angle. No, maybe not. Doesn't look like it. Sharpness sword works really well killing them too. So. <coughs> Extremely simple design, extremely ugly, but it works. It's completely temporary for the time, so, yeah. Success, though. Alright, well, I just made a new iron sword and enchanted it with all five of my levels, and I got the same thing. Sharpness one, but I guess, why am I taking damage from that? But, um, I guess it's not too bad, because... This thing actually kills rather quickly. So I'm going to grind a couple more levels and make me a pickaxe, a shovel, and that's probably it. So I'll get back to you once I have everything finished. Alright, I just used my five levels to enchant my stone pickaxe here, and I got efficiency one. Uh, this is actually really good for me because now I'm just going to see how fast I can plow through this stinking mountain with this thing Because this is all I have left. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. It'll probably break before then, but Regardless, it'll break faster All right, everyone. I am back outside and I'm working on my lawn a little bit more finally um, I covered this a little bit in my last episode, but since the I forgot to have my mic pick up sounds I didn't really get to explain it very well and actually get to talk while I was doing it. But this is pretty much how I am going to start doing all of my projects that are either above ground or above water like this. This stretches from this half to that half, or quarter I should say. So this is one quarter right here of my circle. This diagonal path allows you to be able to hit a large surface area and eventually, once you start getting the hang of the rhythm, you can walk the entire time and click. This seems like it uh, is more efficient than what I was doing last time, which I just picked, I went down row by row, and I did pretty much this number. I clicked, click, and I just went straight, and then when I got to the end, I turned around and came back. That just seemed like it took forever, and this way actually seems like it takes about Probably at less than half the time to be honest, but um, the only problem with it is if you miss, and um, like right here, like say you're walking and you click too late and you hit right here, um, one prop, one thing that usually happens is you hit this, clip it, and you walk to the side a little bit from the angle, and it drops you into the water and it's kind of annoying. So as long as you don't mess up or run out, it's actually pretty effective I think. So um, let me know what you think about that, or if there's a, a method that you guys use for something of this sort. Um, obviously flying in creative mode is the best, <laughs> but I do not have creative mode on here because this is my rival. See, right there I missed that spot and I almost went in. But yeah, just let me know. It's pretty fast in my opinion. Um, I tried it sprinting and I failed every time, so I guess that or that would be even faster, but well, I'm not ready for that. Alright, I've been playing with this monster spawner, and I was thinking to myself, this seems really inefficient, you know. 
I'm just sitting here waiting for something to spawn. I kill it. And I have to wait again. So instead, I made my area just a little bit more awesome. I went up to the surface, grabbed some materials, and now I'm using the bones that I get from here, growing trees, while I wait. So I'm just sitting here chopping, letting things spawn in there, no big deal. So I cut all those down, replant that, kill the one or two things that spawned. I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm bored. So now, I run up here, and I use the bone meal again. And I grow my mini farm. I have um, these two dirt right here. Stop and water. Open them up. Let it destroy the wheat real quick. Ooh, more monsters. Lucky there. Kill these guys real quick. Easy, easy. Drop down here, collect all the loots. Not let, um, not growing this because I'm letting the um, leaves decay. Try to get a little bit more saps because I'm running a little low. I didn't bring too awful much down here. And then block this back. And go through and replant. So yeah, it's a nice little, oh, and I forgot over here. Um, because I was having issues getting some chicken eggs. I only have a couple. I brought over one stack, and out of that one stack, I killed two, and <laughs> I let one survive on it. The killing was on accident, obviously. Um, so now every once in a while I get an egg also. So I have four things going on right here. I'm trying to think of other things to put in here. But I don't want it to be too fancy. Notice how everything is just kind of like makeshift. It's just all temporary just to help me out a little bit. But it's working really well for me. As you can see, I'm level 10 now. I have a ton of bone meal ton of arrows, ton of extra bones, um, getting my wood resources back, and look at all this wheat. Yeah, I can stay down here forever, but that's not going to happen, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to probably get to level 15, I think I want to get to, and then I'm going to go ahead and just enchant this diamond pickaxe. I know level 15 is kind of a waste for it, but the project I'm working on right now. I'm I'm tired of breaking stuff, so I'm just going to get a diamond pickaxe and go with it. So I'm going to get here, kill some more things, do my little routine, and I will get back to you. Unless something interesting happens, I it'll be a while. All right, everyone. I just enchanted my pick, diamond pickaxe, and I got efficiency too. I ended up only going with 13 levels, and you can see my um, enchanting room has changed a little bit starting to um, get higher levels each time so I keep putting a few more bookcases in here the highest I saw was 13 I saw it twice I actually skipped the first time so um, I'm not exactly how sure how many bookcases it takes for each level I can easily figure it out but it I'm not really that worried about it because I'm only going to 13 right now but I am going to work on this a little bit more now and I will get back to you when I get it done Alright, I pretty much have this place how I want it to look, and then I tried to um, mess with the monster spawner, and I pretty much ruined it. I had it all nice and pretty. It was all this level. I had a pit right here and a pit right here. This one was eggs. This one was all my grain. I could actually get up there, but I tried to drag the monsters out of the range of the spawner. And I couldn't really get it to how I wanted it to. As you can see, I went all the way down there. I kind of just got frustrated with it. And I said, screw it. And I just made up this little thing. Um, I actually liked the way I had it better. It was more compact, simpler. But this way, I can actually stand in one place. Swing at only one place. And all the items go to the exact same place. So it works, you know. Ooh. 
There's an item I can't get. That's weird. Ah. Just don't stand in the corner. That's the only rule. What happens is, um, I have water. Yeah, right here in that block right there. And it goes all the way around. So it's one, two, three, four, five. That's six, seven, and last block would be right here. It doesn't really matter because I have this. But I really don't need this here, as you can see. So, but I just did it just because it kind of blocked off some of it. Oh, that's why I'm, inventory's full. Um, yeah, I've been getting quite a bit of random stuff, so. Yeah. There we go. I know I just want to get some. But it works. Um, didn't really take too long to make it, so... Because, uh, one thing to remember is that um, with monster spawners, monsters will spawn and drop into the water, so the water will not actually prevent them from spawning, so remember that. Um, yeah, still got my tree thing going. But, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I finally got another chicken, too. I went through so many eggs. I'm trying to figure out a way to throw them in here. Got them getting out. Hoping that will work. I'm not sure though. But we'll see. Alright, I'm gonna kill these last two guys. Then I will go up to the surface and show you what I was doing earlier. Oh. Got a new pickaxe. I keep enchanting ram stuff, but I got an unbreaking two. Um, the last one I had was unbreaking two and efficiency one, and that thing lasted forever, and it was so fast. I was kind of hoping I'd get the same thing, but as you can see, I did not. But it, I think I, I like unbreaking more than efficiency, just because it saves resources. Yeah, and it might take a little bit more time, but. The uh, more iron I can save, the better. At least right now. Alright, so this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it in your head like I see it in mine. I'm trying out different um, things right now, just how I want to surround it with. Um, this stuff right here will probably be the same material as this. I haven't actually decided on that. but. Um, all it pretty much is is just a like a tube that it starts slow. So all the way down here it goes. Let's see if I can see this. Mm, dang it, I'm already trapped up. Oh, I can get down there. Let me fall down a little bit more. Ooh. There we go. Alright, so yeah, it goes all the way down to that block. So that block is actually going to be all the way around, but right now my water current's in the way. So the it's going to have a four hole opening. I guess that's just going to be a square, which is going to be the four holes or four um, blocks right here, the center. So one, two. Wait a minute. I don't think that's supposed to be there. To be honest, not think about it. No, that's not supposed to be there. All right, that works actually. Oh, I know. Never mind. Hold on. I see what's going on right here. This is actually going to be the floor of my first level, this spot right here. So this is how far I'm going to dig down for level one. Um, yeah, 25 blocks I think I counted, maybe 20. So that's where my first level is going to be. This is actually going to be hollow. It's not going to have much of a function. I might just keep using it for um to jump down and go up though. I have a lot of water uh, break and a ladder in the middle. Other than that, it's not going to have much of a purpose besides looks. So, that took a decent amount of time. I broke my awesome pickaxe and my diamond pickaxe also. I got diamond pickaxe with efficiency. Eh, didn't really seem like it was that much awesomer, but it was still pretty cool. But I just, I'm just sad I broke my diamond pickaxe. Um, I just, this is half of it, it's going to do the other half, obviously, and this quarter is going to be the pain because there's actually water under it, but it wasn't too bad, I kind of halved it, but this seemed like it worked really well right here, just, uh, putting blocks right under it and doing level by level, um, so I only got rid of the water that I needed to at the very time I did it, so, not bad, not bad. 
So, um, in my head, this thing is all coming together slowly, but it, when you actually look at it, it doesn't really seem like it, so um, just bear with me, guys. Trust me, it's gonna look, hopefully, hopefully, let me phrase that, hopefully it's gonna look interesting. So, I like circles, so a lot of my stuff is actually gonna be circles, so if you don't like circles, I'm sorry, but it's just something I have to do. <laughs> But um, right now I'm going to try to get this other half done, and I'll get back. Well, I took a break from up there, and I came back down here, and I think I'm just going to leave this how it is. It's working. It's working. Just, I don't personally like how it looks, but I have to keep remembering or keep telling myself that it's, I don't want to say, that it is only temporary. So, I have to get over it. Oh, yes, another chicken, finally. Hopefully this keeps them in here. We'll see, I guess. Where do you go? Can you already drop down? Oh. Go in the hole. Anyway, um, yeah. So, it's not pretty, but it works. I just sit here, I kill some things. Everything comes right to me because of the water current. I already showed you this, but it works. This is pretty much the poor man's um, experience farm. It works, it's a little slow, but it's completely easy to make. All right, so once that's done, I just walk in here. Um, this All this wheat was actually grown by time and not bone meal. I just hit that. And I just go through, replant it again. Uh, I'll get this dirt back. Do, 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 do. Um, once I get pistons, this will be a lot easier, but I don't think I'm going to use pistons at all on this setup right here because it's all temporary. I don't need it to be fancy. I think it would be just um, kind of a waste of time to do it, to be honest. Alright, and I do that, then I come back over here, get my sword out yet again, kill me some more skeletons, they don't spawn too awfully fast, but, you know, they work. Hit a tree, Usually I just plant a tree and let it sit there. I don't actually hit it yet again because um, I want to get more saps. And also I added this back here. Um, in one of the clips you saw a quick glimpse of it, but I'm pretty sure it didn't actually go over it. I have uh, four pumpkins and one melon. I have more pumpkins because um, I love pumpkin uh, jack-o'-lanterns. So I'm actually trying to get some more pumpkins so I can put more jack-o'-lanterns around. As you can see, I'm starting already. <laughs> Um, check the chicken eggs. Yeah, those chicken eggs are going to start racking up now, since there's three of them in there. Yeah, that's pretty much my, uh, circuit I do. And, uh, after that, I hit all those guys again with bone meal, check behind here. I used to be able to see all this, it was a lot easier in my other setup. One of the reasons why I liked it the other way. But, as long as I go back there every once in a while, it's okay. Right, um, also, I did more work up there, so I'm going to uh, go up there and I'm going to wrap this up for you guys so it doesn't get too awfully long and boring. Come on, chicken. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you at the top. I made it to the surface and I got up on my, um, my little lookout point I have going on right here. And as you can see, bam, the whole center is cut out. Um, mountain, this part of the mountain still covers a little bit, so just ignore that. Um, still got more to do right here. So let's, let's go down there and check it out. Sorry for the rain. I turned down the volume a little bit for the game, because it was just, you know, how rain is. Um, do 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 Also, I would like to apologize if my, um, my clips seem kind of jumbled, but, uh, I definitely jump from project to project a lot. Uh, so... That's one of the reasons why I have, I'm up here, then I'm down there, then slime farm, then I'm back in the middle. I apologize about that. 
I'm gonna try to <laughs> uh, work on that a little bit, but here you go. As you can see, my little tube thing is pretty much dug out. Um, I've tried dirt over there, I've got wood, cobblestone, and smooth stone over here. Uh, I can't decide which way I like it, so that's gonna take a little bit more time. Mm, don't mean to fall down. Um, kind of uneasy about my chest floating above a huge pile of water right there, so <laughs> I'm going to cover this as soon as I can. I'm not sure how I want to do it exactly yet, but uh, remember how I was telling you I was going to put my um, chanting table in a random location? Yeah, that was a bad random location. I think I passed it actually. Yeah, I passed it. <laughs> but I definitely put the uh, enchanting table in a bad spot. Or enchanting, whatever you want to call it. It's right here now. <laughs> so it's actually just on the outside of this rim. I don't have anything worth enchanting, even though I have 13 levels. But yeah. Oh, there was a 13 right there. I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to hold off. But yeah. So this is the work I did this time. Um, I don't think I actually um, completed any objectives this time. Uh, let me look over those real quick. Where did I put that list? Mm, hold on, I'll be right back. Ah, I lied. I completed the enchanting table. That was definitely one of my Yep, that was one of my objectives, so I'm going to have to go back through the uh, movie. Well, by the time you get here, you'll already see it. I'm going to put the little objective complete thing on there. <laughs> Make it all fancy. And, ouch. So, um, yeah. So, that's, I think that's going to wrap up my episode. I don't think I have anything else to show you. I have a few other things going on, minor things, nothing worth showing. I'm going to try to take down that mountain still. Um, if this looks like a just a big pile of crap, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I have a decent plan for it. And I, think, I think it'll look cool once I'm finished. I hope it does. But I have a lot of digging ahead of me before that. Uh, if you remember, I s that's going to be down 20, 25 blocks. I can't remember. So, yeah. Oh, I was hoping this rain would let up. But yeah. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to wrap this up now. So, um, <laughs> sorry for my rambling, uh, my clips being all disorganized. But again, thank you for watching as always. Uh, if you haven't seen my other episodes, uh, go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm always open to feedback. I'm looking for um, any suggestions on anything, you know. Just um, help me out, you know. Let me know what you think. And this was Hasted, and thank you for watching.